y'all remember when I like play uh, Pokemon Unite? That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> My hair keeps sticking up. Okay. Welcome back. It's gonna be a shorter than normal stream because we basically just need to unlock stuff, I think. Something like that. Um, it's only the third. I believe I can't go anywhere. Yeah. Rest. I shall rest. Sleepy, sleepy. Oh, no. Velvet room. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm definitely Splendid. Kidding. What are you talking about? The precise destination of this vehicle Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Hi, perfect timing. Margaret? I literally just started. Really getting it is totally different. I mean, really finding yourself. I've been trying not to think about it all this time. But I finally feel like I can face reality. I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. I don't know if you saw the VOD of Strikers from I think Mo I need Monday. To start being more selfish. Yeah, I, that, that's what I'm I was going to think about my life and set my own path. I was scared, but I've learned my lesson now. I won't just try and escape into my own personal time. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory. The during problem your is. My mic was muted. <laughs> failing to understand and failing to listen uh, are like, rather different things. Throughout the entire battle, which sucks. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, no, we'll it was be lying to about, ourselves. It was it was through the, at least the battle. I think as hard as I can and try to help. But you should still at least Come watch on. it just because We've I was. We've accomplished this much together, haven't we? I mean, the the the, the footage wasn't muted. Like the, the the game the game feed wasn't. Uh, I was doing a, I was doing a weird tactic to actually right. dodge together. the boss. So. And it seems you have comrades with you as well, those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. Hmm, the limo stuff. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left. I'm going through puberty it again? It be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream. Yeah, the Kyoto jail. Who pass but through it that was completed. Are affected differently. Some travel fast. Some change their course. Experiencing it's countless strikers, events as they travel down the river of time. This may be a shorter stream. Just it says so. on my um the state of this it room. It says on my uh, the my school sheet that your heart. Because I use that to like plan out a whole bunch of stuff. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation. Rather this may be the last, uh, oh, by the way, I should probably say, that's a doorbell, I should probably say that the streams are still gonna, tr I'm still gonna try to do Wednesday, Thursday, and then, uh, well, right now, Saturday, because I freaking 
NFL is getting in the way. NFL and Smash is just getting in the way on Sunday. So I'm, right now Saturday, but like it depends. So uh, not yet, but um, with that starting, Teddy's at, missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. That's right. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Rise and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? So the thing is, um, <clears throat> since uh, the last time, like that February or March through May thing, where it's like I couldn't, I, I wasn't streaming this at all. It's no use, man. We can't find him. Well, that and I had a poor schedule where I was just like alternating between the two. And it really just didn't work, so I've definitely gotten a he uh, like better scheduling streaming and working on Storm, which I'm now working on Chapter 10. Meanwhile, Chapter 7 is going on no right now. No look for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Uh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. I don't think that's right. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano, the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. I want to hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Mm -hmm. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks huh. about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap. The bastard should have gone and saved himself. What do you think, senpai? Still no. <coughs> think about it normally, it's got to be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. Perfect There's timing, something then. I've been <laughs> wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. It's like he he was successful in, in so, that. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Yeah, see, there's an inconsistency there because if he's like, Oh, you're the ones that I saved. Because, of course, they survived. Unlike Saki and Yamano, so... Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. Mm -hmm. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. She's just randomly Come babbling on. again. Don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. The possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. I have two and months what? to finish you think these. think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? I just realized... <clears throat> I... Uh, the possibility of a culprit besides Navatame. Interesting. But I realized that... I believe November 11th is when SMT5 comes out. SMT5 release. 
November 11th. So yeah, I have, uh, today is the, today is the 15th. Uh, and I have, well, here's the thing. Luckily, after this dungeon upcoming, uh, the, the final two dungeons are just boom, boom, boom. So it won't take like five streams to do that. Like, because the uh, the thing with uh, Strikers is Strikers doesn't take as long in, in terms of... I mean, Okinawa took three streams. Kyoto took two. Uh, I don't know how long... I think Osaka might take a bit longer, and I don't know about the other 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 few. Um, but with... Uh, I know if, I know for a fact with Golden, there's three, three left. One is, like, uh, one's going to take, like, four or five streams. Uh, that's just the next upcoming one. But the next one, the next two, are going to be ones that I go in, and then, like, I can't come out until the boss is defeated. So, it's, uh, I mean, that's a guaranteed at least three streams for both of those. But, realistically, those should be done within a week. Or maybe, like, a week and a half. Maybe it'll take four streams. I, I, don't, I don't really know. But, basic, yeah, basically, those should be shorter. I don't know about the other one, so think of it this way. There's still, like, shoot, how many weeks? How many weeks until November 12th? Eight weeks. I, I mean, I technically, I have eight weeks to do <coughs> SMT. Or I have eight weeks from this point on, because SMT 5 comes out Friday. So there's just over eight weeks until then. I have, oh crap, how many, um, give me a sec. Well, with Strikers, I still have, yeah, I still have three. So I have three jail. I literally have three jails and three dungeons left. If most of these should take a week, especially with the last two dungeons here in Golden, I should theoretically get that done because there's those two week, two and a half week, because of course uh, we're not eight weeks yet. It's eight weeks from this Friday. Um, that I feel like that would be enough streams because looking at this, that gives me, because uh, I still have two streams like this one and the next one uh, tomorrow to get through that. <coughs> Cruise this possibility. Not a time is diary. So what would this be? I think it's the warning letter. Warning letter? Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatami's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. So don't rescue anymore. The second one said if you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Another inconsistency. Yeah. And the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like I'll put in and kill? So, yeah. Basically, all I'm saying is technically it's like nine weeks because I still have today and tomorrow. I can't confirm if I'll be streaming Saturday night because right now those streams, uh, the, the weekend streams that were normally on Sunday now default to Saturday until I get my new uh, work schedule sometime soon, whether that's next week or the week after. I don't know. Plus, school is going to throw a wrench into that. But the idea is is that I'm going to, if I can, well, I'm still going to have three days off. I know that. Um, I think the, the plan would be Friday would be, uh, like, Friday day, one day on, over the weekend, and then on a day off during the week. I'm still trying to figure that out. It could end up, it could end up being something like Monday, Monday, Thursday, Friday. That's what I'm thinking, because then that'll, because I, I, then I can work on, like, school stuff on Sunday, and, um, why would I do a Thursday? No, that doesn't make any sense. Monday, Friday, Saturday, I think it would be then. Something like that. Hey, could this mean... But that's just me spitballing. But yeah, Namatame didn't write it. Yeah. 
It's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else but wrote it, as, that could only mean... But as of now, it's now permanently Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. No more streams on Sunday just due to NFL football and Smash Circuit being so... That's the thing. I'm, I'm going to do Smash Circuit a lot earlier next season just so it doesn't collide Dear with God. the NFL. NFL Since season. this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Yup. Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. So, Namatame is In isn't... Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Someone else? Then it wasn't Namatame that killed Saki Senpai in the announcer? We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. So Namatame is not the bad guy. How, though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're going to tighten security. I have a plan, but there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Mm -hmm. He's not the enemy. He was the enemy in the Heaven the heaven Dungeon, but... Hey, <coughs> this place is off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah, understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like I mean, him to accompany me as well. I mean, tech, by technicality. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. He technically is for part his identity. of the police. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our hands full with the transport procedures. So the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. This is Unit 252. Huh? I see. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, uh, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. Please be careful. Suspicious object. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. That suspicious object is not anything. Wow! Not anything. There's important. nothing much inside that suspicious object, so he won't be gone long. All right, and now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Namatame-san, there's something we'd like to ask you. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. The truth will set you free. Huh? Obviously, just gonna go one after the other. Huh? Me? <clears throat> so it was Yukika. He put in the TV first. They were killed. I couldn't save them. It lines up. 
Is killing Stacy's no. people. If no. nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process, as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. They weren't targets of the real killer. There's there's more to yeah, it. But if the stuff he's saying is true... It was just by random chance. There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Indulge us in a few more questions. He doesn't know that. I have no idea. I want to know that too. He's not going to know about those. What are you talking about? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. As I thought. You believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? My Yumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. She's right. Because the police aren't going to believe Only you. you? We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Well, we're, we're, we're going to find Please, out here. Please, tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? <sighs> All right. Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home, as if to run away from the scandal, and I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. Mayumi, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows, and forced to resign from the program she was on. It cost her so much trouble. I wanted to at least apologize to her, but I couldn't even do that. I lost the will and energy to do anything. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. That's a clear all image. Of a sudden, there was Mayumi. Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. Mayumi? Mayumi! His hand goes when right I in. reached out unthinkingly to touch her, my arm disappeared into the TV, as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane. In the end, I decided to think of it as just a dream, and I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. The next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. Yep. It was Mayumi being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. I was dumbstruck, but later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but 
I decided to try it again, and I confirmed that none of it was a dream. So that image was it something Mayumi showed me, calling for help. That's how I felt. And eventually, you learned of the Midnight Channel. I remember that when Mayumi was alive, she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre TV program. I'd heard about it before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. But then Mayumi appeared on it, and later turned up dead. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job, and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the Midnight Channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help, just like Mayumi. The first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. Mm -hmm. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, so I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> it must have been when... How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits and gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. Tried to warn her. After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV... She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on! Please! The next day... They found her dead. <sighs> I knew she was going to be murdered, but I couldn't save her. I blamed myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. Not even my wife. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered, and the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer. But she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. He, he said he didn't enter the TV wrong, until, uh... But I couldn't help Monica. getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That calendar is wrong on, on the wall uh, next to Namatame. It says December 4th, a Sunday, but that doesn't align up. Even if even if it accounts for Saturday, Sunday being at the end of the week, that still doesn't make any sense because the, su the Sundays are like 1, 8, 15, 22, and 29, um, which the 4th on that calendar looks to be either a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So something doesn't align that up. was you. She'll be kidnapped next, and murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. 
I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calm down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. So, since you thought people who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed, you kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! You never stopped and wondered about any of this? I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. Give me a second. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. So if I... Oh, yeah. Well, no, because I want to be more centered. That's right. What happens if I do like this? That's a bit better, actually. Yeah, a thousand times better. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? Now, to take the, uh, take it, take it away. If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I had a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanakarchan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. I mean, this is just the Arsene shirt. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. I never knew you couldn't even get out of that place on your own. No, that's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun We're to realize that least. it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? I noticed that his um, tone shifted right there. Yes, I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other and how much you remembered. I just realized. I was like, why does his voice sound different? But in the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. I'll, you'll notice when his voice goes back to the more ominous, like, uh, sound. I don't know. I can't really. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. Oh, well, yeah. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. Right now. But I ended up doing just the opposite. Oh, what a fool. It's, it's like it's like slightly higher pitch. I always wanted to enter the world of politics. I wonder if it's that become a, useful to different. society. I want it, like it just. It just felt weird. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, I wonder if it's the all same I had left voice was actor this too. power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary, 
Because that, that wasn't there in the original. This hero. is a this is that was for Golden because the concert back in October wasn't um uh, wasn't in the uh, wasn't in Persona Four Vanilla. I never doubted what I saw on TV, and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. I should, you shouldn't be held accountable. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Kidnapping is already a serious crime. And on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World? You can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, the room's probably people locked. People did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm such a joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you. Please, find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. It is 100% our plan. He's gonna kick us out now. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. Now we try to figure this out. Now get out of here! I told you, he's almost ready to be transported. We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. Nanako-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. And you never know. Oh, he vanished. People might remember Somewhere. some things now because they've had so much time to think about. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Will this finally help you uncover the information that'll lead you to the true culprit? You decided to get home early today and get some rest. Ooh. Ooh, the melons. Be the bead melon. Uh, definitely the pota uh, t potato. <laughs> I'm surprised potatoes weren't one of the options that you could uh, cook in there. You know? Well, uh, just I don't know. Gardening without no. Yeah. Oh. Eleven seventeen. I'm saving right here for a very specific reason. Because, uh, I don't know if I can't or cannot save. I don't know. Today's the day of school is founded. So you have the day off from school. You investigate town. You wonder if you'll be able to gather information? You need to catch the killer. Let's go. Your hints are, okay. So the guide is gonna pretty much make it easy for me. You now have to ask people questions about the case. To cut down the time, do this in the exact order listed. Go to the North Central Shopping District. Talk to the woman next to the old man by the shrine? Ooh, 
with a dog. Mika-chan, I think it was. Any-chan? No, oh, it's Yuri-chan. Woof? Oh, yeah, the fine coal, right, 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 right. Talk to her. A little while ago, they said that a suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. I realized that I'm a Tame-san, right? I remember seeing him around from the time to time. I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. You have to go all over town asking these two options to almost everyone you meet. For some people, those options won't come up, and that's fine. You'll know if you've asked everyone when asking the question the game will let you know and see if you know anything else about that question. Uh, the people at Sachiri Beach in Okina City are not included in the people you have to ask. Probably the same as, um... Whoops. Wrong button. Wrong question. So to talk to this... As far as diamond and pearl, um, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. It's a small town. If you're any suspicious, there'd be rumors going around all over. So, nothing. I think that's everybody, except for the people that the, my teammates are talking to. Like this guy. Yeah, I told Howler, because I think we were going to do something about s 5 but I told him that I can definitely get that done probably by the weekend's end. Like, the, the, the different, because I mean, I defeated, uh, I defeated Sword and Shield uh, in, within a day. And the plan is, like, I'm basically going to chill with my friend. Uh, the GameStop that was near uh, that was near me, that's like 10 minutes away, that I got Sword and Shield from, uh, closed. So I pre-ordered it somewhere else, like a, a lot farther away, but it's at my uh, near where my friend lives. So the idea was I'd go, uh, I'd go with him, get it, come back, drop him off, drive back. And I'd probably be playing it with... I mean, not with him, but he might be in the call. I don't know. I'll ask him. But I but I can definitely get that done. Oh, it's... Well, it's not at midnight anymore. Uh, you can actually... Well, that's another thing. I, d uh, I, I wondered if... I, I asked them, them if it would be a thing. If midnight releases would be a thing. I'll probably have to ask. Yeah, it was. it'd be 9 p.m. It has been 9 p.m. for, like, the longest of times. Yeah, nobody's like, everyone's like, everyone's like, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't think there's anybody around uh, the Dojima residence. See, omen like this. Ooh, wheat seedling barrier corn. Cracked wheat, I want that. I don't go on that. Uh, no, actually. I never, I never liked getting the digital copies or uh, of Pokemon games. I don't know why. I, I always like having the physical copy. I don't know I don't know why that is. Um let's go to Juness cuz they they won't allow uh, unlike um Oh. Yeah, that's another thing. Since she saw someone, I think she's just wandering around the shopping district. So why don't you just ask her? Interesting. I didn't even realize that that was in the guide. So now we talk to her again. 
Remember Saki Konishi, don't you? She passed away a while ago. Uh, yeah, I'm getting both just so... You know what? I was thinking, in the past, I did randomizers, um, like, leading up to a new generation. But earlier, earlier than that, so the, the whole quote-unquote journey of generations is that, I, that I did prior to Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun, or not Ultra Sun and Moon, uh, Sun and Moon and um, uh, Sword and Shield, that was interesting because with Sword and Shield, or with those, like, those two specifically... I did, like, special events because they were all, like, uh, Soul Link versus, and then the last time it was just, like, complete crazy randomizers. Um, I might for... If Gen 9 comes out, like, or is announced sometime next year, um, I'm probably going to go back to my roots because I was doing that... Let's see. Because I, I had a certain path line. There was, like, a certain, like, order that I would do it in. If it was a remake... I do it in reverse, because I did that for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, though I didn't stream that, because that was announced um, about three months, five, four months uh, before I was actually uploading to my YouTube channel. Um, so I go in reverse back down to it. So like with Ruby and Sa uh, with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, that started with X and Y. And then I would go back in time all the way down to the last game, which was Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, and that's the thing. Uh, with the Johto games, I theoretically could play uh, Let's Go Pikachu, um, but I actually don't own it. That game's probably still 60 bucks, anyways. I can double check. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu. It's still probably Amazon. It's like, it's not worth the 60 bucks to get that game. So I don't mind playing Fire Red again. It's actually 49 right now, so it's on sale, but it's like... Yeah, I could probably buy used too, but I don't know. Um, and then there was the third version slash sequel, as the case was. The last one of those... Technically would have been Ultra Sun and the Moon, but the last time I did that pattern was for Black and White 2 back in 2012. Actually, that started in the summer, and that's actually where I got my shiny. Yeah, because I remember posting about that on Reddit in 2012, where I at, at, somehow, some way, ended up getting a shiny, uh, a legit shiny um, Chikorita uh, when I was doing... When I was, play, uh, when I was just soft resetting for a modest Cyndaquil, I was like, what the heck? So, uh, but yeah, how that works is it basically goes in the order of the release, pretty much the opposite from the remakes, because the, that went order from release in reverse. The sequel slash third version, swi uh, switching, well, not 2022, but I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Um, that, that just switched in order in reverse. So in the case of Black and White 2, that would have been Fire Red, because these are games I own. Fire Red, sorry, Sapphire. Fire Red, Pearl, Heart Gold, and I think, because that's Generation 3, 1, 4, 2, and then Black. That, that was the order for that one. And of course, the official Journey of Generations last, uh, which is the one that I did for, um, I don't think I, I, I did do it for Pokemon Black and White too. Or black and not black and white two, but black and white too. Uh, that one was easier because I just I just did um, fire red, sa uh, fire red, heart gold, sapphire, and uh, pearl, and then of course in for generation six in twenty. Uh, I even did it for generation six. Yeah, I did. That was cool because uh, that was fi uh, that that was again um, fire red, heart gold, sapphire, pearl, and then uh, Pokemon uh, black. And then again, 20, um, I, I did the, I did the, the one for Generation 7 on ROMs, being of course with everybody, it was, uh, red and blue with Asteroid, red, uh, Hargold, or gold and silver with Poise, 
I think I did, uh, when I say Vinny, I mean not original 151, but uh, this guy named Supergasty. What's a series about a retrospective or, or gameplay? It's just, it's just me tra challenging myself, but I think if Generation 9 is announced, because I did the same thing again in 2019, except it was by myself. I did skip a few, but that's why I want to make sure that I actually get it done. It's going to be a little bit tougher because now there's eight generations to get through. <laughs> so I'm just basically going to have to uh, get through it. And I think I did a stream. I think I did a stream per nine or per gym badge. So that would be. Uh, yeah. I did a stream for Jim Batch. So that'd be about 10 streams. Well, no. That'd be 9 or 10 streams. It depends. Because I, I would end it after the, each battle. But, like, I the whole Victory Road thing is kind of lame. So, it'd probably be 9 streams. So, I'd be done with them in, like, every 3 weeks. And then 3 times 8 is 24. So, 24 weeks... It's about six months. Uh, no. Legends has nothing to do with this. Uh, I don't know when, uh, Gen 9 would be out. Um, with Legends being out in January, I could see it being announced in May. And then, I have a, a small hunch that they're going to, uh, start doing... It, it doesn't seem like it should happen. But, with... Because they really, they should, I mean, everyone's looking more forward to Legends, right? But that comes after the holidays. That comes after the holidays. But, with Le uh, that's why I'm thinking, that's, see, Legends is the only hunch that I have, and it's because of Legends that this hunch is here. I think they might be going back to spring releases, just for some reason. I know they've been doing um, fall slash winter releases for for such a long time, especially in Japan. They've been doing that since like as far back as 2006 because I know Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Black and White. Uh, Black and White 2 was the only thing that came out in June in Japan, but the rest came out in the fall because after Black and White 2 came X and Y and all of the other ones. Those were simultaneous releases all in the fall. So, um, but the fact of the matter is that Legends comes out in January. I mean, theoretically, that, that, cause they're still working on Legends. I don't like, I don't think they're going to be splitting up. That's why I think splitting up work like in Gen 9 comes out so soon. That's yeah, you're right. That's, I think it's spring 2023, but anyways, I was, uh, went on a tangent about that. We still have to figure this out. She told me how that Namatame person came to her all day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was about. His relation to Saki. Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. I need to talk to everybody that's right. I don't think there's anybody at the shrine. It's gonna be annoying if that's the case. Okay, so I can't talk to her. Guess the floodplain's next. Yeah, you could say so. I mean, I have no issues. Just not not with the how linear Sword and Shield was. If Sword and Shield felt empty, the graphics weren't bad, but they just felt uninspired. That's how I describe it. Ooh, a cat. I don't think I have... Ooh, yeah, sure. There's two cats. What the heck? Amber Sina. I 
still have eaten a bit. I still have. Oh, come on. How are you still eating of a trout? Oh my gosh. Don't give it the guardian. Don't give it the guardian. Okay. Oh my gosh. How? Do not get. Okay. I still have. I have a lot of fish, don't I? It's gonna be the guardian this time. Huge fish, never mind. Now it's gonna be the guardian. No, still a huge fish. Now it's. No, another huge fish. Now it's gonna be the guardian. I still have so many fish. Now it's going to be the guardian. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of fish. There's the guardian. I was gonna say, don't feed, don't feed the guardian the cat. Me. Who? Where else can I go? Cause, cause it's just gonna say Yasugami's closed. It won't, it won't, like, unlike how it was in Golden, or excuse me, uh, Persona 5, you cannot move anywhere near the Yasagami Gate. I guess the shrine was the last place? Because I can't think of anything. Yeah. This is the kids. have I not talked to? I don't know what I'm missing right now. That's a motorcycle lover. Yeah, it said to talk to people. But I'm pretty sure I talked to everybody here. trying to clear out every everybody There's nobody else here nobody at the shrine I don't think that shops work did I sell all my junk Because <laughs> I talked to everybody. Missing. Did talk to everybody at the flood. I can't go to the hospital. There's nobody down there. Can't activate the question from the old woman. Doesn't look like I find more information. Yeah, 
already talked to everybody. I haven't retreated to Aya yet. That's everybody. Because she's the only one there and you can't talk to her. Try talking to the dog, but... I can't... I can't figure this out. I said you'd retreat to Aya, but... I have talked to everybody, haven't I? Because it's the first one's ran its course, but now I've used the second one on everybody. Well, I mean, I'll try. Oh, there he is. Should report, report back to the group. Okay. Oh, I should have saved. Okay. I'll pause this. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the yeah, same for it. me. We're gonna do it anyways. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? Uh. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy too, but no one's seen him. Oof. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new uh, deductions? It's gonna be kinda hard to find that. <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. There's a bad ending right here. Shall I, uh, um, I saved right, uh, the night prior. So, I mean, I, I, I can fix this. Or I, I can go back to this point. It'll take it's slightly snowing. a bit longer. No wonder so, it's chilly. Would you rather have me... That's actually what I'm probably gonna do. I'll probably go with the video. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. See, the problem was I didn't want to have the music in the back, so I'd have to go and mute the feed, the game hey, feed. is it but... snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Yamano and Kanishi. 
And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all of these things? Another oddity about the case is that there was almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but nobody saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Sakiko Nishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be something in, someone in the small town who fits the facts. So, here, let me, um, I'm gonna switch. Which one was it? Was it face cam? No. Oh, yeah. Actually, it was. <laughs> uh... Not that one, though. I feel like there's another one. No, not that one. See, I can't do this. I actually have to... What What the heck? Why do I have multiple... Multi oh! It actually works better. Although, it, I probably should flip it. Uh, give me a sec. Um, flip uh, horizontal, please. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to move this back over here. Something doesn't seem right, though. Oh, that's why. It's because it's like that. That works better. Yeah, there we go. I was wondering why it was so, so small, you know. Um... I really hope I don't get this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, instead of this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that you don't see it. Fifth, bad, fourth or fifth? Fifth, bad ending. Is it December 6th? That's no, December 5th. All bad endings, Persona 4. I have to mute it. I have to mute it. But yeah, we know. We know about that one. Ah, here it is, here it is. What's the matter? So, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead. Can't tell they ruled out, but all the odds are very low when you consider the information. So this is, this is just uh, another feed. More than anything else, he is your friend who helped you reach this far in the mystery. You see, you have no real reason to consider him a suspect. You should carefully rethink this one last time. I <laughs> think, but this is one of the murder victims of the case. A threatening letter may have been sent by the killer came after their death. It looks like our only option is to stay patient and continue our investigation. But regardless, no, this is not this is not me playing. That Namatame this is just a random, his crimes, random video. And he has already been arrested. So no matter what we do, the case might be over now. Though the truth will be forever lost in darkness. Well, for us, it's more like lost in the fog. It's lost in the fog. And then it zooms out, or zooms up. I should say. How this, of course, ends, I mean, you'll see. I'm going back to my own world. Of course, we still have this old, um... It's not easy to live there now. This one. it's my reality. We, 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 we've already really seen this part. I'm thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye.
In this one, you knew somebody. Uh, somebody was the perpetrator. It was found out that Namatame wasn't it, but he was he was fa falsely incarcerated and falsely prosecuted. No, no, no. It wasn't. We didn't blame Teddy in this one. The fog's still here, as you can see, but what ended up happening in this ending was, like I said, Namatame was falsely prosecuted. Um, Na uh, Nanako survived. Teddy's still uh, Teddy's still missing, of course, because he ran away. Now, a follow-up report on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook Inaba last year. Defendant Taro Namatame has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time, and maybe she could have come outside. So she's still in the hospital. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. See, I've never actually fallen into this bad ending before. <laughs> There's no doubt he's the one who put Nanako through all this. But the more I interrogate him, the more I start to question myself. Did Namatame really murder two people? Well, we'll see what comes out in our investigation. In any case, there haven't been any more bizarre incidents lately. Here's hoping Inaba goes back to its usual quiet self and stays that way. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. It was more of a marred... It left you with such a marred feeling because it's like... You knew something was out of place. What's the matter? Wait, I don't even know what this is. Hold on. Give me a second. I don't, because I'm, I'm not trying to spoil you here. What's this? That was definitely... I think it's the same one. Oh! Oh! Okay, we'll, we'll watch that one later. I did not know about that one. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna pause that. We'll head back to that in a second. But, so who is, so now we get to this, who is it? I'm going to go down the line. Is there any, I'll, I'll leave it up to you just because you've been here for the, like, the entire story. So, is there anybody on this page? Yosuke, Chie, Yukiko, Teddy. Do you think it's anybody on this page? I'm blocking the list. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll bring it back to like how it was in the early in, in Persona 5. Not Royal, uh, but so yeah. Any uh, any of these? Do you, think, do you think it's any of these? I know who it is, but. Do you think it's any of these four? Yosuke, Chia, Yukiko, or Teddy, or somebody else? No one out of the team, okay. So somebody else, Kanji, Risei, Naoto, so you already ruled them out. Uh, you have uh, Dojima, Nanako, Adachi, uh, Namatame, somebody else. Uh, Yamano, Konishi, which is impossible. These three are impossible, like you know that. Because they're dead. But do you think it's someone else? 
Suzuharagi, Kashiwagi, <laughs> Hanako. <laughs> I mean, maybe Hanako just sat on all of them. Oh, there's even more. What happens if I run out of these? Oh, please don't tell me. I, Ko, Daisuke, Naoki, Yumi. I don't even know. She was, I don't even talk to her. I've never talked to her before. That's the drama chick. The one who's in um the drama class. The one the opposite of one Vion. Shu uh, Sayako, that's the the, the, the nurse. Aries the, the mother. Think once again. So you said I'll, so I'll go, I'll bring it back to this point. Uh let me let me know if you want me to pick any of these because this is this is after everybody on the team. Let me know if you want me to go somebody else. I have three tries, by the way. Tajima is the killer. He must have been careful to hide his ability to enter the TV world. Based on that assumption, it seems possible that it could be him. After all, as your uncle and owner of the house where you stayed, he could have easily observed your actions. Obviously, he had easy access to his own house, and he'd be more familiar than anyone else within the area. However, your uncle wants to solve this case at the cost of his life. His only daughter, Nanako, was kidnapped by Namatame. When you consider the facts, there's very little to support Dojima as the killer. For the sake of a suffering detective and his non doc, uh, daughter, Nanako, you must find the real suspect. You should rethink this. We have two more tries. So... Was it was it anybody past this list? I'll just say that, because we have all we have, of course, the ones involved that died or was arrested due to that. We have the Suzuharagi, Kashiwagi, and Hanako. You you know these. That that's the that's the the old the older how you say wannabe milf, and then of course she's the fat stu the that fat girl. That broke uh, Yosuke's bike. Um, doubt it's a, a student, so yeah, it wouldn't be I, Ko. It would, do you think it's any of the social links? Sounds like a timer. <laughs> this really sounds like it's counting down to something. Uh, Ion's the the one with the the band. The ba the the band student. So you you uh, you say. It's none of a, every, none of the members of the team. It's, we already know it's not Dojima. You counted out. Is it fair that we can't count out these? I'll, I'll just ask you this. <laughs> the dead people, and we already know that Mitsuo. Uh, is not true either so you said the stu uh, the students so that would mark off uh, Hanako and Misuzu Hiragi was uh, Namatame's wife prior to the whole Yamano thing um, Kashiwagi's the teacher that took over from Moroka after he passed You said no students, so that marks off I, Ko, Daisuke, Naoki, Yumi, Ayan, Ayane, whatever. Shu is technically not there, but, I mean, he's a kid, so. Um, Sayako's not, Sayaka and Eri are not also, are also not that. But are we discounting anybody, any of our social links?
I'll give you a hint. Who is the main twist villain in Persona 5? Somebody that you wouldn't expect. I mean, you were close. Think, 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 th think of who was the main twist villain in Persona Five. Think of how they are connected. Because there's a lot of similarities between Akechi. I just gave it away of who um, the twist villain was in Five, but. And the, the, the person from Persona 4. You, we've already... We've, it's not now, though. You, you were correct in the fact that it's not... Um, it's not anybody from the team. I'll get... I mean, like... I'll just put it this way. If... If we get down to my final pick, I'll, I'll explain it. I'll, I'll kind of reveal the answer. Actually, I'll reveal it in the, in a way. Because I'm not going to do it. But this will do it, though. So we're going to bring this back up. Uh, t -t -t -t. Oops, it's still muted. So he's now going to reveal it. When I said you were close, this is the this is the second bad ending regarding this part. There's no reason, exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. However, So, I'm going to go back here for a sec. Because I'm wondering if I'm going to have that same thing. Of course, you can't look only at the circumstances. You can't completely rule out... Or, if you look at only the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease. And he knows the area well. Thinking about it... You encountered him many times while investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There's no reason, exact reason to doubt him, but something is, yeah, so it's going to do the same thing for me. However, yeah, it's giving me the same, same things. Should you tell your friends about your suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? This is the other bad ending that uh, comes with this. And I've never seen this. I have legit actually never seen this. So this is... Whoops, that's Overwatch. There we go. So I've... I've so don't tell friends. Protect Adachi. From your relationship thus far with Adachi, you don't want to think of him as the culprit. But there's more than enough possibility and you can't. Are you sure you don't want to tell your friends? They give you a second chance? That's crazy. You cannot think of anyone else but Adachi who could have been the culprit. But you don't want to hand him over as the culprit. You decide to keep it within your heart without telling your friends. You're an accomplice, dude. That's... It looks like our only option is to stay patient and admit it his... We do the... Yeah, so they, they, say, they repeat the same ones, however... Then the, then the whole Teddy. Well. So time passed. All the way to March 20th. This is interesting because I've never seen this before. Tomorrow's the day you go home. Was it really the right thing to not tell your friends about Adachi? 
It's probably the last day you can see Adachi. I didn't know about this bad ending all this time. How did I miss it? Sorry, were you waiting long? Man, things have been so busy. I've been putting in a crazy amount of overtime. Well, anyway, what's with the sudden visit? I'll answer that Can in a I sec. Can I help you with something? Do what? Me? Kill my Yumi Yamano in Saki Konishi? <laughs> what's this about? Are you serious? Because you protected Adachi. Oh, come on. Even if you're kidding, this is a pretty bad joke. Did you forget? You're the ones who brought Namatame in. Oh, I get it. You're still playing detective. Okay. Say I am the culprit. What did you come here to do? Convince me to turn myself in? This is the accomplice ending. So, what? Are you trying to blackmail me? Well, listen up. Unlike you, we police aren't made of time. We still haven't even cleaned up Namatame's mess. Besides, you don't have any proof that I did it. Well, are you going to keep playing detective? He's going to say I'm on your side. Oh my gosh. You're on my side? Are you trying to be the hero or something? I've you know never what? seen you're this. You're saying you're on the killer side. In front of a police officer. Do you understand what that means? I've never seen this. I see. Wait here a sec. Do you remember this? It's the threatening letter that got sent to your house. This is I accidentally forgot to forward it over to forensics. I'm sure it was just a prank, but maybe it was connected to the murders. Who knows? This might be the piece of evidence that could turn this whole case upside down. The real killer wouldn't want the police to have this. But you're with me, right? So if I'm the real killer, and you're with me, then that makes you my partner in crime. Isn't that right? If I send this to forensics, they might pull some evidence off it. Maybe a clue to capturing the real killer. You, your friends, and Dojima-san have all been busting your asses for a whole year to solve this case. It's a damn shame that no one's caught the real killer yet. Well? I definitely think watching the videos are better. It's doing it. That's crazy. This is an actual like way to, oh my gosh. <laughs> you actually did it. Do you understand what you just did? You destroyed evidence. That's a crime, you know? Incident is covered up forever. All because of you. And it's the police's duty to keep tabs on those who've committed crimes. If you get calls from this number, you better pick up. There's no use changing your number. Don't underestimate the Japanese police. It's easy to track you down.
until you max the jester. What the heck? This is an actual route. You can fuse Magatsu. That's how you. Wait, wait, wait. That's how you fuse Magatsu Izanagi? You want to find the truth without being swayed by the voices of society. But the truth is a sinister thing. It seems like something absolute, yet it exists in everyone's hearts. For you, <laughs> I'm gonna this fix this was back. the truth. <laughs> well, I'm going back. So be careful on your way home. The fog is getting thicker and thicker after all. Wait. No, no, no. It's better if I do it like this, I think. Goodbye, partner. Yeah, because you can see more of my face, I think. <laughs> There's no turning back now. The fog outside is thick. You have to go home early. That's wild. And then of course now, it's it's the same. First two is best for today. Spring. Today honest. No, it's, it's, it's time. Yeah, it's it's it basically it covers it up. All comes up. And then they all end with this. But apparently that's how you fuse Magatsu Izanagi. So you have to get that ending. He regrets burning the letter. That's crazy. I did not know about that. That's absolutely crazy. I've never actually seen that. I thought I did. It's not an error that I list both I Ayane and Yumi, even though Yumi, one of them, those are the options that the game give you. The identity of the culprit is, as we now know, Adachi. If you properly identify the culprit, you have the Jester social link at rank 8. You get the option to talk to Adachi about what you've learned, but only Adachi. Agree to do so, burn the evidence, make sure to do this. The Jester social link at rank, you unlock the accomplice ending. Is that... Hold on. Persona 4 Golden Achievements. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going to play this again. Is it? Max all social links in a single playthrough. I don't think that counts. Fuse Izanagi no Okami, obtain the Persona Izanagi trait. Five perfect meals, croquette. I guess not. Uh, there's no real reason to do that. Um, give me a second as I set this back up. So yeah. 
We are going to tell him about it, just because I don't actually gain anything outside of that. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. This means I can't... Okay, you're going to be missing, but this means I can't save over that second one. We're talking one. about Adachi here, right? Did my, uh, yeah, my base cam is all messed up now. So if I go over here... Actually, yeah, this is better. I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... <sighs> it's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Ms. Yamano and... Uh, excuse me? What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Miss Yamano. Probably not. I don't but... know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Because in order to get Magatsu Izanagi, that would have to be on a new game plus, so. Then, is it really a Dachi-san? need to confirm it this is still only a tentative theory we should work to confirm it as soon as possible this is now Toshiragane something has occurred to me about the case and I'd like to get detective Adachi's input on it huh the transport it's right now right I I see thank you gotta get to the hospital what was that about a transport Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Rank four of the judgment. guys doing here hey do you know where dojima-san went they told me he snuck out of his room again i assure you we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put but he keeps going off on his own jeez with namatami finally relocated i was looking forward to going home so he's been relocated i've been wondering you seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital Hmm. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? 
If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Speaking of uh, Kojima. Adachi. Where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Jojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. I'll be right back.
Okay. I just been stalling waiting. Time the announcer went missing? Oh, uh, I had just been stalling. I've been I was trying to use the bathroom, but somebody's in it, and then I was just like looking up stuff on my phone for a sec. So I you haven't missed much. I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. We're gonna that was we're months talking. and months ago too. My memory's kinda hazy that far we're back. Now asking Adachi questions. Oh, Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. There's one more. Not yet. About the warning letter, remember this? The one that you burned in that one video? You being you, uh, why you? Not, like, you Narukami. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh... I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Hang on. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. <clears throat> what did you just say? Put them all in? What's this putting them in business? Slip of the tongue. Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Me too, because now we're going to head back to YouTube again. Because I said the exact same thing. So I'm going to show... I'm gonna, Before I didn't know why, you're gonna, you're gonna hear her talk, it sounded but... the wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary at the scene of Dojima-san's accident? Uh, let's go back to that really quick, like because I uh, because I mention it, I mentioned something as well. You know, or do you remember actually when I mentioned this? Uh, where is Golden? Why do I have a notification? What's this on? That's what I thought. Um, it is in Stairway to Heaven. That stream. Oh yeah, because I... Where is the part that he crashed on? Up in the air. Say. That's all I'll say. Well, did I ever... Oh, yeah. So, this is me showing myself back from, like... Okay, I need to turn off... Listen listen to what I say. Have a, um, Easter egg. See, I mentioned that. So now this is Inception, because I'm, I'm referencing... It, I'm referencing the one from, like... And then I do it... I, say, I literally say the very Expect same thing, too. I have to play this, like, how I did normally in... There's been a break in the case. Of a new world. Thus I must I'll leave it up to up in the air. I said up in the said. air. The hell does he mean by that? This it's a 
a list of the victims' home addresses. Mayumi is this, is this Max Pauline? It is. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Rise Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. That line right there. The last date is today's. Or what? I back up, back up. I think I... Oh. recovered a diary from the driver's seat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. likely kept by Namatame himself. I'm gonna uh, say one more thing, that there's another clue coming up here. There's another foreshadow. And it was that line right here. The last date is... And that settles it. That line right there. That line right there. Oh, come on. You're not supposed to do that. I keep doing that. <laughs> I'm funny. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. Uh, and in a response, little bit. your words were, wow. Then that settles it. I think this is a I short wonder, stream, but I keep referencing old things. At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy. I'm just gonna run away. Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! What the? I swear he ran this way! No windows damn are it. open. Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. Yeah, but his is tied up. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san, for heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Exactly. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Let's go in tomorrow because we can't go in from here. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. I believe I go into the eighth. Real quick, I want to double check this. Um, t -t 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 spring. Yeah, 12-4 to 12-8. So I need, it, it ends on 12-8. Obviously, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Back here, but with Teddy. 
Seems you've become to the velvet room in your dreams again. But you don't... Something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? I ask you the same thing. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. Just Whoops. when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise oh, how of I a car. Accidentally did it twice. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. There's a catch, though. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. There's a catch. It would have been better if I had never remembered. Uh, he does but not. I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. Huh? Really? Nana-chan's... Wow! That's wonderful! I'm so glad! Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? No. Something like that. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. I believe that's ranked to the max. I didn't realize that would max. The ability to create Hillel. By mastering the star social link, you can now fuse Hillel, the light bearer. Evade electric. Uh, 
I mean, I don't use him, but... Theoretically, he's supposed to also but get. I have to get going. An evolution, this I think, is your of this place. Persona? It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. See, there's a catch with Teddy being there, though. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. Mm -hmm. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. So basically, a shadow cannot appear in the Midnight Channel. That, that, that's basically it right there. But Teddy was there. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? So that's, that's a funny thing. No, and no one's seen him either. That annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Nothing out of this. Yeah, because he can, like he's while he is he was a shadow. Shadows cannot have a pers uh, like shadows well, themselves cannot have is. a persona because they don't have an ego. Before. Shadows cannot have an ego. Um, and Teddy being a shadow, or uh, he ended up having a shadow of himself, which meant that he had an ego at that point. So he's a shadow that grew an ego, in other words. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Wait, we know Adachi. That Does too. this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. That confirms it. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then, maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? This has been bugging me. This place. Teddy is back. Forget arm <sighs> pain constantly. I see. I came back, but it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Oh, that has Lucky nothing to do with my arm. I'm so sorry.
<laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best. But it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown oh, yeah. being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Mm-hmm. And there's... the Persona Evolution, or whatever you want to call it. Come away. Too bad I'm never gonna use it. Right. I need to get back to the others. I only have one. Hang in there, Nana. Out of the two. There's still Naoto and there's still Naoto and um, Kanji that have. I don't think Kanji was. Was he? It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risa-chan. If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all, but he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. I don't remember he's if I maxed Connie. He's and always optimistic. I think I did? I'm not sure, though. I know I didn't max Risa. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Risei-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! I know he's in there, too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless! Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? Um, Risei-chan, are you faking? No, stupid! S sorry I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I didn't expect this to take this long. I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. I underestimated Stuff how much dialogue there was. And that world. I wanted to tell you all... He was only a shadow. And that, though he was at the wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end... I was just an ordinary shadow. 
Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Ha, ah, that's huh? funny. Uh, what are you saying? Like I can Here I am disregard. pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was that's something petty. like that anyways? <laughs> no normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow, then, that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow, or the shadow awakens to its ego, the only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teddy's practically human, then. Uh, I'm the same as humans? Duh. You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> There's a lot of big tears. <laughs> Thank you. Literally soaking I me and Yukiko so over glad. here. I met you guys. And Kanji. The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon. Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Isn't that just you, Senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Geez, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we Still figured out who that, murdered huh? the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him, too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Rank six. So here's the thing. Not yet. Not the new dungeon just yet. Um... I'm just gonna show you. I cannot save over this uh, the data too. That that this one allows me to continue, continue on. Can I can I walk up upstairs? It it allows me to like go to that accomplice ending. I might do that just to get the new game plus for that. So then maybe eventually, if I want to play this again, I can max out the compendium. Give it a try, but if Risei Chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Hmm. I do smell a Dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! <laughs> oh, I'm getting something! <laughs> Teddy? Hey, Com quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. It's a compass. Huh? I sense it from... This away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? 
It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. Very suspicious. It's a smelly smell. This definitely smells. A but smelly smell. that's weird. Don't that smell. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the it bathroom? smelled Yosuke's piss. And... <laughs> huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit he really spreading didn't. random rumors about stuff like that. If you remember, he couldn't go. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Shall we get going or no? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. That's rank six. Seven. Seven. That damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Go to You're nine. getting on my nerves, kid. Answer the question. Did you or did you not throw Ms. Yamano into the TV? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? No. <gasps> she fell in. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. I but mean, you know, he's not both lying Mayumi about that. and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first, I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What's this about, anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? 
Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. Two plus you were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. He's not. Or he, obviously, because he died. But. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. But you knew very well. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. I knew, you knew very well that after Yamano died, the did The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Obviously getting him down to business. Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that, then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know? Uh, the fog just puts them that way. Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. Influenced him. There's a question I didn't respond to earlier. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? What was the question that you asked? I can't remember what the question was. Shoot. Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Oh, Why? you're right. What reasons could my, you have for doing that? On my very first playthrough, I didn't get to this point. If you uh, remember the the one ten ten stream, uh, the last time we streamed Persona Four. Um, yeah. So by the time I got to playing the game the second time, I already knew it was a dachi. <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it. That's all, and it was fun. I guess that's my reason. You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? <laughs> what a jerkwad. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. 
I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. This isn't a it's game, like though. when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun too. Then you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? Mm -hmm. I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with a TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Mm. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah, he turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatama would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's mm. why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. Mm -hmm. The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! He's gonna disappear. <laughs> what a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. Nope. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, Maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. 
If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Yeah. It's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. The black and red is always on one of these portals. It happens um, on the entrance of every uh, dungeon, Let's get actually. Prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. Rank. Eight. Senpai, please don't go on alone. I understand that it must hurt since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. <coughs> Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. He might be calling to you. Wait, never mind. Forget I said that. Oh, We're all don't going say together, that now. okay? Promise us. The thing is. Ready for the search. Rank eight. Wasn't it eight? Yeah, it is rank eight. The just things that you get the opportunity to talk to the doctors. I'm just looking when this happens. Can I go in alone? They didn't give me the option, I believe. When can you meet Adashi alone? Why do these guys always appear? Why can't I delete the message? Come on, it needs to load up. Unable to fetch the account. I can't delete the message. Well, clear in the chat, I guess. Stupid. 
I can't. It said unable to fetch the account. It's really weird. Can't it fetch the account? It's not loading for some reason, even on yours. Yeah, it won't even load mine too. That's really weird. What? I'm confused. What happened? Give me a second. It said on 12.7, there was no... Hold on a sec. Well, no, it's set on 12.7. Is Twitch, like, buggy? I swear. Um, let me check the videos. It said to go in there alone. I didn't... Cause like there wasn't a hold on. Let's go kick his ass right now. Wait, I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. Is that Ten Pi, please don't go on alone. There was no prompt. He said, wait, never mind, forget I said that. We're going in together, okay? Promise us. I didn't get the prompt. I didn't get the prompt. Oh, I'm stupid. This is why. Well, it's because it happens later at night. So in that case, in order to keep things, keep things interesting, I'll make it, it's not the same conversation. So it happens later at night. It happens after I go to sleep in, um, uh, on this night. So instead, oh, whoops. Oh, crap. Well, that's unfortunate. It's, it's just gonna keep doing this every time I scroll. Um, so in this case, uh, the prep goes to the 21st. So that would be a shorter stream because it's a lot of a lot of nonsense. But to go over this completely, really quick, uh, where is so? Before I get to the eighth, because what's going to happen is. Uh, it says, if you've been following along, hold on, December 8th, Inabo will not be covered in fog. This will be present in all your social links now, but it won't have any other effect other than being acknowledged. You have officially unlocked Magatsu Inaba Dungeon. You can go in there to chase the culprit. However, catching the culprit will be automatically fast forwarded you to December 23rd. The official cutoff is December 22nd if you want a Christmas Eve present. If you don't, your official deadline is December 24th. Exam scores are out, blah, blah, blah. Uh, da, 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 da. So... If you've been following along, the social link that remains incomplete are Chariot, rank 9, Moon, which is I, rank 8, 
Fortune, rank three, which is uh, Naoto, which is up here. Yeah, rank three. Empress, rank one. Empress may have already maxed out, depending on how good you were with fusions. I already maxed it out at this point, but if you haven't done so yet, we still have time. I'll probably do that tomorrow, or yeah, tomorrow's uh, stream. Uh, Aeon, rank one, which is down here with Marie. Judgment and Hunger are rank eight. Is there anything I missed? Margaret, rank one. Chariot, rank nine. Naoto, rank three. Everybody's maxed out. I is rank eight, and then these two are rank eight. So yeah, we are ready to move on. In the next stream, of course, what's going to happen is that we uh, will set up everything. We will go in and talk to Adachi ourselves, by ourselves, to in order to progress with the uh, that um, social link. Um, we'll set up and get ready for that, and we'll be doing more, more of these. I can't scroll without this uh, going crazy. So, yeah, I'll catch you back later on when that happens. Uh, it, like I said, tomorrow. However, I think I'll do it a little bit earlier, at the same time. Um, but uh, the, the thing is, unfortunately, uh, this the the infiltration needs to be on a day off, or a way where I'm not like securely timed. So, in other words, if I'm here on Saturday, the infiltration will be on Saturday. But if I'm not here on Saturday, it'll be pushed back to a different day, potentially Monday. That still remains to be seen because I don't really know what happens with next week. I may have a new work schedule, so everything will be known on Twitter. So, yeah. Uh, but I do know that next stream is going to be tomorrow. So, uh, at 11. 11? Yeah, 11. 11, 11 my time. 11, I think that's 11 Pacific, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern. So, yeah. But as far as the infiltration stream, which requires a day off, uh, or which requires some um, a time where I don't have to like immediately cut it off for work, or going to or, or like uh, you know what I mean. So like a day like today would not work. So that means that it'll all be up in the air. If it's not Saturday, then I'll let everybody know on Twitter. So keep. Keep that in mind. Yeah, the, the basically the next thing is going to be the setup, the infiltration, and the boss fight. That that's pretty much what this is going to be. Can I? Uh, I still can't. I wonder if I got bugged. Unable to fetch account. While I'm on here, unable to fetch account Twitch. I'll figure that out later. Anyways, catch you back at the top later on. Catch you around. I'm hungry. Ah!